evening, ladies. Welcome to my Visco hangout. Um, today, we're cutting my hair. Hi, so it's actually 12.55 a.m. I was not lying about doing this at midnight. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was gonna lie to you. I was gonna title this video cutting my bangs off at midnight. I was gonna do this around like 9 p.m. But say it was midnight. Um, and then I just decided I really shouldn't lie to my followers. And then I also got caught up on TikTok. So here we are at 1 a.m. cutting my bangs because they're just so long and I can't see anymore. And also I can't see my eyebrows anymore. And that is my best feature. So we're bringing her back. Yes, so we are in my bathroom. Let me give you a little bit of a tour. Let me not be rude. Oh my God, my bangs are in my eyes. <sighs> oh, whoa, I'm blind. I have this sign across my toilet. Sometimes you just you gotta push through a girl. Like right now. Today I had fake Mexican food. That's not good for me. Had a lot of pasta. Really not good for me because I'm super allergic to gluten, but um, What am I gonna do? Gluten's and everything. And then I had class from 12 to 8 p.m. And I was like, you know, Nikki Nasty, it is it is late. You deserve a little a little go-go juice. You haven't had it in a little while. You've been really good. So I got myself a cold brew, and uh, now I'm having a kombucha. So as you can tell, um, my stomach lining. She's pissed. I'm sorry. I can't pretend to be like the kombucha girl. I actually, really like kombucha. Just the thought the little bacteria floating around in here and then floating around in my tummy. I don't know, it just, it's comforting. Okay, maybe, maybe not. And then that, sorry, the bacteria is speaking to me right now. That, uh, I decided to decorate and make it all pretty. I don't normally have a succulent in my bathroom and two fake candles and my essential oil diffuser um, that I, spilled all over my carpet right before this. God damn it. But here we are now. Um, I wanted to make my bathroom as aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing as possible for this. So I got my bangs trimmed again like over a month ago and they look great and everything. Maybe a tiny bit too short for my liking. It's been over a month. They're grown out. I can't see a lot of the time. Do you see the issue? If my hair lady's watching this, Marianne, sweet, sweet Marianne. Don't be mad. I'm poor, I'm in college. I can't afford to cut my hair even though I'm going back to you in a few weeks to dye it again. Um, listen, I, I can't go back home. I can't go back home, I'm far away from home. Even though I'm going home next week. Forgive me. We'll talk about this later, okay? This is not my first time cutting hair. This is not my first rodeo, okay? I've I've done a few rodeos, okay? I cut off all my best friend Kaylee's hair. I'm scared, Nicole. Okay, are you ready? That looks so good! I used to cut my ex-boyfriend's hair, but I think that's just because he was too lazy to actually go get a real haircut, but that's besides the point. Not to mention, I also cut off like an inch of my hair after I broke up with my first boyfriend in high school. Hmm. I want to tell you a story about my first boyfriend. I can't take myself seriously. Yes, I can. I want to tell you a story about my first boyfriend ever. His name, irrelevant. Um, his existence, irrelevant as well. Hi. If you're watching this, you're not watching this. It doesn't matter. I really, 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 really did not like him, but it was my first boyfriend. And I was like, oh my God, a guy likes me. Yeah, I'll date you. And at the time I was not eating gluten because I was an angel. And since I really did not like this guy and I didn't want him to kiss me, uh, I told him that he has to wait at least 12 hours after eating gluten to kiss me or else I would have an allergic reaction. So needless to say, we, uh, we never, you know. I fully recognize that this is my second bang video. I talk about bangs a lot, I talk about getting banged a lot. I don't want that to be my whole entire personality. Yes, I do. I like my bangs. I feel like they are a part of me at this point. Look at this. I'm so much better with bangs. Yeah, when I put my hair up sometimes and I look at how up my hairline is, I'm like, oh, that's why I have these. 
I don't know. I feel like we should just get started with them. I feel like I'm talking too much. Let's get started. Let's let's start. Let's bang it out. Let's bang. Okay, let's let's get banged today. I don't want any comments down below saying that I did this wrong. Yeah, you really think that I know what I'm doing. You really think so. Okay, I'm gonna wet the comb and I'm gonna wet this and then we're just gonna go for it. I just want a nice little trim kind of below the eyebrows, like a below as an underneath, not above. You know what I mean? I also get a lot of comments on my bang video about whether or not somebody should get banged. The entire video is called why you shouldn't get bangs and here I am getting banged. Clearly the answer is go get banged. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just gonna do it. By the way, these are like cosmetic scissors. I don't know the proper name for them. I stole them from my mom. Hi mom. If you wanna get bangs, don't worry about if people are gonna make fun of you. Just don't worry about that kind of stuff because people are seriously irrelevant. I don't think that did anything. Maybe it did, I don't know. Genuinely, I have never regretted my bang decision at all. I think I kind of grew into them as well. At first I really looked like Freddie Mercury. Um, also like Lord Farquaad vibes, but like every single girl says that who has bangs. Oh my God, I'm getting hair all over my socks. When you gotta cut your bangs at 1 a.m. but you gotta ball up at 2 a.m. I think Ashley Best Dressed honestly might've had a video call like cutting my bangs at midnight or something like that. Let's look it up. Cutting my own bangs at 2 a.m. Well, thank God, because this is at 1 a.m. Oh no, I need a thumbnail. Should I make a thumbnail just like hers? I should, shouldn't I? Oh, I want to tell you guys about my class today. On Thursdays, I have class from 12 to 8 because I only have classes twice a week, so my days are super duper long on those two days, but then I literally have three days off. So on the first day, he was asking everyone in the class if anyone was a content creator, if anyone did YouTube or anything. Little old me would normally not say anything, but I was like, okay, Nicole, just like say that you do YouTube. Like, why not? You never know who's sitting in this class and might land you a chance to work with Claudia Saluski one day. Is that gonna happen? No, but it could. Could it? Yes, maybe, I don't know. So I was like, yeah, I, I do YouTube. So he asked me what kind of videos I make and what my genre is, and I was like, oh, I, I don't, I don't know. I honestly did not know what to say to him, so I told him like, lifestyle with like satirical twist, whatever. So now every single time that we're in class, it's a media class and YouTube is brought up, he always like looks at me for like my input, which is honestly really cute and really nice of him that he like remembers that about me. I also really don't like putting myself on the spot. So like, I'm like, Ugh. I hope that these people don't think that I'm like, I'm a YouTuber, I'm so YouTube-y. Today he was showing us that mukbangs are very, very popular in Korea and that that's probably like one of their most famous genre styles of video now on YouTube. And so he was asking the class like if we would watch this type of content. And I said, honestly, no, because uh, I find the sound of people eating absolutely vile. <laughs> so my professor proceeds to show the class mukbang videos for like 25 minutes. And like, I'm talking about really loud slurping mukbangs and I was traumatized. And the people in the class are like turning around, like looking at me and like laughing to see if I was like gagging. I don't know, I'm not a very like overly expressive person when it, maybe I am, I don't know. I personally wasn't gonna like sit there and be like, Ugh, that's disgusting. But then everyone was like turning around and looking at me. So I felt like I kind of had to. So I was like, ew, uh, this, oh my God, so gross. I don't know. I kind of get grossed out by like a lot of strange little things. Like for example, this girl in one of my classes today, like our chairs were like super duper close to each other. And she had really, really, really long hair. And she's like playing with it and like whipping it like on the back and like it's, on my computer and I was like, okay, no, like, please don't. And then like the bottom of her hair was so long that it like touched my thighs lightly. And I was like, oh, is that what it's like to be touched? And then I snapped out of it and I was like, okay, that's weird. Some random girl just brushed her hair against your thigh and you just suddenly felt warmth that was odd and then I kept pushing it off of me, obviously, right? I honestly don't know if I'm done with my bangs because like, I feel like they look good. I don't know, they feel good. Should we go shorter? 
Okay, hold on. Relax. Honestly, if I like had a little Nicole's beauty salon moment every like two weeks and I need to trim my bangs, I don't think that would be a bad idea. Oh my god. That's me. Okay, so I'm still like kind of not used to being a blonde per se. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm half Middle Eastern. Like my dad is from Iran. And so I just naturally have very, very dark hair. And so when I dyed it, it was all virgin hair. She was holy or whatever. And so it got really light very easily, which is like what I wanted. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I've always wanted to go platinum at least like once in my life, just so I could say that I did it. I'm also obsessed with TikTok and I'm also obsessed with this girl's hair and like she just looks so good with it. A lot of people told me that I would look really good platinum. I don't really know what to do. When I first initially got my hair dyed blonde, like when I made this video, I literally was having like a whole Emma Chamberlain moment when she was like, I don't feel like my hair matches my personality. This doesn't match my personality at all. Yeah, that's like what I felt like. And now I really, really like the blonde and everything. I kind of do want to keep going lighter. So what do you think? How do you think it would look? Something else I wanted to talk about. When you're watching this, it's hump day, obviously, because I upload every hump day. But today is September 12th. Well, now it's 13th. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so, so much for 10,000 subscribers. Like, that is dead ass the coolest thing that has ever happened to me. Like, literally ever. I can't visually imagine 10,000 people. That might have something to do with the fact that I'm extremely bad at math. And that 10,000 in my head just like doesn't exist. Like the number past 18 does not exist to me. Probably which is why I'm really scared of turning 20, which I did, but I'm still scared of it. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent. The fact that 10,000 people decided to click, okay, it's probably like 9,090 because my mom probably made like 10 fake accounts just to subscribe. Just kidding. Are you even subscribed, mom? Call me. Let me know. I know literally every single YouTuber says this, but like YouTube at this point in my life right now, where I am, this is literally the only thing that keeps me sane. It's like probably one of the greatest sources of my happiness. The amount of people that have commented on my videos, something extremely sweet or something personal or have Instagram DM'd me or said happy birthday to me. I have friends in real life, friends in real life who have forgotten my birthday. Not to get cheesy or anything, but that just means so much to me. Uh, thank you. I honestly thank you so much. I know to some people like 10,000 is like a teeny tiny number and that means nothing to them. But to me, that's huge. Wow. See, I really don't like this whole like mentality that if a girl cuts her bangs late at night, she must be having a mental breakdown. Like I am. Anyway, I feel like we did a good job. I say we because this was a team effort. Now you can see my eyebrows a little bit more, so. Oh, okay, let's close that. <laughs> ah, thank you. I hope this was fun, this nice little bathroom talk of mine. Mm. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. And if you liked it or you liked me, then you can do whatever you want with that. I don't, you yeah. know. Like, you can comment, you can subscribe, whatever you want to do. I don't know. If you want to follow me on my other social media, it's just at Nicole Raffi. I should probably go to bed now, but have fun. Go on, be great, go do good things, be safe, make good decisions, and uh, get banged if you wanna. That's not up to me, that's up to you. All right, bye.